What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 1 and 1 and as you can tell by the giant box in front of me and the title, I am doing another Evike unboxing video. So this is one of Evike's $150 unboxings. Um, they do their mystery boxes like probably once every two months and almost every time I pretty much buy them because I like mystery boxes and I like getting stuff. Last time I got a sniper rifle and an Echo 1 and Zombat M4, so it's a pretty good two gun deal. I, I don't know if this is going to be two guns or if it's going to be one. It's smaller than my box was last time. Oh, but it looks like um, this is two guns because this is only half the box. Here's the um, Box of Awesomeness Airsoft Con Fan Appreciation Edition. I think this was a $150 one. I'm not sure exactly how much it was. But the first gun is a M14. This this literally brings back, oh my goodness, is this the same one? It literally brings back so much memories. This is actually the first gun that I got like at the beginning of my Airsoft career. This actually never uploaded a video on it. If you can figure out the first gun that I uploaded in a video, like gun that I used, did a video on, and comment down below, you are a real champ, and I will like your comment, because if you get it, I have to go like way back in the Alec Mac World on YouTube history. But this is the Sima M14. I don't know which version this is. I had the, this is literally the first gun that I got ever. This is the wood version, okay, so it wasn't the same one I got. I got the CM032A, which was the black one, um, of this, this is still the SOCOM version, it's not the, uh, the 032, which is like the longer barrel, um, and looks more like a, an older M14, this is like the newer style M14. This is so sweet though. That's, don't remember, mine felt a little, mine had like a little bit of texture to my, on the black one. This is like, you can tell it's absolutely plastic, it's a Sima. They're cheap, but they're made very well. Oh, I remember. That's so sweet. That's exactly the weird safety. That's exactly the sound I remember. I used to play with this all the time. Um, looks like it comes with just a bag of BBs. It's actually kind of heavy. They look pretty crappy though. Um, and then, oh, I remember the sling. I had a terrible sling. And then they have their um, standard just unjamming rod. But this, oh man, this gun, was, this is like literally what I used. There's a hop up right here. Um, I remember I broke this off when I got it, but this is, this man, this guy's, this brings back so many memories because this is literally the first airsoft gun I had. I got it for Christmas. My dad was like, are you sure that's the gun you want? That's like super, super, uh, uh super heavy. It was like 14, 15 pounds. We looked up a line. I was like, no, I got it. It actually feels really light now. Um, but man, that's, that's completely different from, from the other one as far as like texture wise go. The other one, I like the black one which feels better. This feels like really cheap. Plastic wise, but like it is, it's built pretty solidly. The rail system up here is nice. Um, the iron sights, I love the iron sights on the M14. Man, they're just cool. Standard orange tip, you got your kind of compensator there. Get your sling mount points. Your safety is right here, which is a little bit weird. Um, but it's actually cool because it kind of blocks the trigger. And then it's like really easy to flip off safety and flip on safety. You can just do that with your finger right there. And then the mag release, oh, I have the mag. And then the M14 mag. Which comes with like I think it's like a 450 round high cap. It's got the still got, still got the touch. Um yeah, the selector switch is actually right here. This is oh that's semi-automatic, and then it flips the full auto when this one's at the top. And so that's kind of weird. I would always use this in, in semi-auto, but it actually has a respectable rate of fire in full auto, which is pretty nice. Next, let's go for the other stuff first. So this is airsoft sack. I think this is where you put your gun in, yeah. It's kinda cool, I don't think it'd fit. It's not gonna fit that gun, I don't think. Or a sniper, but it'd definitely fit like an M4. That's a cool idea, I kinda like safety thing, so hey, this is an airsoft gun. Um, I know it comes with patches. This is an Evike, um, the Evike hex patches that they give you, I think I already have. I think I have some of them, I'm pretty sure I've got these before. From Evike. Just throw it on there, I think. Oh, one more patch. So this is looks like a Tomb Raider patch. It's like Laura Croft, I think. Two pistols, short shorts, holster, boots, evike.com. Kind of cool. Stood up there. And then the second gun. Oh, this isn't important. That's second gun is another Sima gun, which is 
CMO82. OA2A. Which is kind of cool. I don't Is it tan? It says tan on the box. Nope, not tan. This is the black version of it, it looks like. It's the full stock um, tri rail system. Or not the, tri the quad rail system, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I remember these Simon manuals are actually pretty decent. I mean, half of it was in. I think they have a little bit of English, or is it all Chinese? No, they have a little bit of English. The English was so bad, but it gave you like pretty good diagrams on what to do with all the stuff. Sima, I love Sima. Honestly, I love Sima. Sima makes actually really good AK, so I'm completely fine like getting this as, as a mystery box. Um, two guns is pretty good, because Sima makes pretty high quality guns, man. They're not, they're not low quality. They shoot pretty well. They have low rate of fires. I think their AKs actually shoot like 400 FPS right out of the box, 400, 410. Um, I don't remember what my M14 ever shot. I didn't ever have that. Um, I didn't ever chrono that. Black full stock. It's a little bit, the stock feels a little bit short. I don't know if it's, it's the standard length. It just feels a little bit smaller than an actual AK stock, but I, I could be wrong. Um, battery, I don't know if it's rear wired or if it's up top. I can't remember. I don't know if I've ever actually held a Sima AK before. I think one of my friends had these. Um, you have your, let's see, the screw's not even in there for that. Um, you have your orange tip. The rail system up here is pretty nice. AK sights are pretty nice. Um, you get your standard adjusted for elevation. Um, no windage adjustments, but you have your front sight too, which is pretty nice. Not that you ever need that for airsoft. The, the bottom rail, whew, got the foam on it, but it actually looks pretty decent. And it feels, man, this like feels comfortable. The body feels a little cheap. Oh, That feels a little, kind of a little jank. But it's all right, you get your full sing, full auto. Semi-auto on the AK, got your AK reloads. Clearly I don't practice AK reloads. I had a, a classic army AK I really loved at one point. You get your, your grooved pistol grip, which actually, it actually feels pretty comfortable. I like that. Rather than like a straight pistol grip, you have your three grooves on it. It actually feels pretty good. Honestly, I like that. Yeah, pretty simple guys. Um, Comes with BBs. These actually feel a little bit, well, these look a little bit glossier, like they actually are rounded on like those other BBs. And your other cheap sling. I think I broke my sling like the second time that I had my M14, so this just was not good. Yeah, guys, double unboxing mystery box. Pretty, pretty content with these. These are cool. I don't know if I'll ever use these because obviously I have a system on. I have guns that are nicer than these, but these are nice starter guns. Um, might sell these. But this has been Alec Mac one on one. Thanks for watching this, guys. We just hit 50,000 subscribers. That's super exciting. I just uploaded the 50,000 subscriber video. This will come after that. Um, pretty exciting just in this time. I hope you guys are gearing up for um, Thanksgiving or gearing up for Christmas and hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I'll see you guys later.